Hi, this is Michael Edwards, Assistant uh, Professor of Medicine at UC Denver. Uh, this is part two of the climate change section of the Big Data and Bioinformatics course that I'm teaching at GVR DSST. Uh, in the first part of our climate change lecture, I basically laid out the evidence for climate change, uh, showed you some of the sources of data that we we use, we analyze to uh, to come up with our our uh, uh, our models for climate change. So now what I want you to do is is basically test this yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to download historical temperature data from one of three areas in the U.S. experiencing climate change. Um, you're going to work in pairs on this. So, uh, one person will graph the daily summer highs while the other person will graph the daily summer lows. Uh, and summer is considered June 1st through August 31st. And you're going to do this in 10 year spans from the current year, which is you know, 2015, to the first recorded temp for the region. Um, most of these weather stations usually, they sh uh, for the most part, start recording around 19 in the 1940s. So what we're going to do is, uh, I, I think 1945 would be a good starting point for uh, most of these cities that we're going to pick. Uh, you will need to write down your instructions on how you produce your results. And this is very important because what's going to happen is we're going to give you the, you're going to download these, this temperature data, analyze it yourself, and basically what you're going to do is give your instructions to another group in our class, and they will try to reproduce uh, what you got. Um, if they fail to do that, then somebody made a mistake. Uh, after you validated your, your work, you will present your findings in the form of a PowerPoint to the group. And we'll, uh, in later tutorials, we'll, we'll kind of go over the basic scientific presentation and how, how you should present this. Uh, as always, there are going to be video tutorials available at our GVR Big Data Google Plus site. So if you have any questions, you can go back to this site and uh, watch the lectures again. Uh, so as I mentioned, we're going to work in groups of two. There's six people in the class. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick three areas in this country that are affected by climate change. Um, we'll, we'll talk about which areas we want to do in class. I think Grand Junction would be interesting since it's in Colorado, but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, again, uh, the three groups in our class are going to pick three areas, and then after you're done analyzing your data, you're going to hand the instructions over to another group in class, and they're going to try to reproduce your results. After we reproduce these results, then you're going to present your results to the group. Uh, this includes introduction, the re your results, and conclusions on, on your, your uh, analysis. So where are we going to get this temperature data? Well, a site that I normally go to is Weather Underground. You can get this from, you know, various other sources, but I kind of prefer this one here. Um, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website, put in the cities that we're interested in, and then we're going to download that data. Once we've downloaded it, now then it's kind of ours, and now we're going to analyze it at different time points and see, you know, do we see any trends with time? Okay. So, I've already got the weather underground data side up. 